Hello, those that are watching my videos. I am in the wonderful place that is Drake Circus. Now, I'm hoping to get 3.75 inch figures from Doctor Who and DVDs, so see you in a bit. Autos dropping update. Autos dropping update. Autos dropping update. Autos dropping update. Hello, I'm in Toys R Us, on the, on the lookout for 3.75 figures. Okay, I found them! The 5 inch fi- 5 inch? Right, so a very big toy shop, Toys R Us, doesn't have the 3.75 inch figures. Great. And I'm back. Yay! Woo! Now, for this, what has Drew been up to? I got a lot more things than the last ones. So this is the second one. What has Drew been up to, too? Right, um, I'll start with the uh, DVD. Well, actually, I'll start with the uh, things that I got that aren't related to Doctor Who. That being, I got a Steam um, account thing, so I can download Doctor Who The Eternity Clock, which will be going on my gaming channel. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I got Ice Age 4. That's for my brother, pretty much, because I'm a nice person. It's cheap, only five quid. Um, now let's get to the Doctor Who stuff. Right, I'll start with the two DVDs. Now, one of them I was going to get for Christmas. Didn't. Uh, that's because my dad was trying to get one that was signed by Sophie Aldred, who plays Ace. And it is Doctor Who, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Now I've finally got it. And this is actually the first Doctor Who I ever watched, even before um came back in tw 2005. So... It's quite interesting. I remember watching this years ago because of the, the clowns. That's what I remember about it. Yeah, I really liked it. So Sylvester McCoy, weirdly, is my first Doctor. Weird. He's actually my third favourite Doctor as of now. Might change the 12th Doctor now. Yeah, it's a four-parter. And, yeah, looks good. PG, Sylvester McCoy. I've now got six Sylvester McCoy stories. There are 12, like, Sylvester McCoy stories, so I'm halfway there. I've got half of Sylvester McCoy's era. Now, the next one is Planet of the Spiders, which is John Pertwee's last adventure. Now, I'm looking forward to this one. I was tempted to get Robot, which is Tom Baker's first, and it would have been right after this one but I didn't I I stopped myself because I wanted to get 3.75 inch figures now wait where's the other there it is now as you as you saw previously um I tried looking in Toys R Us and they weren't there they just weren't there I looked all over the store they just had the five inch which is annoying because where I live, we don't have the Series 3 character building figures either, which is really annoying as well. So, I got them from Whoopee, which is a shop. I don't think it's a branch, it's only where I live. I got the 3.75 inch TARDIS. I got a Dalek. And I got Clara and the Doctor. There you go. Woo! Yeah! Right. I think I'm going to unbox these. So, yeah. Look, magic some scissors. Whoa, I'm magic. My magical powers brought me some scissors. Right, let's start with the Dalek. Oh, actually, might not need scissors. Oh. All that magical energy for nothing. God, I'm knackered now. Cool. Oh, I love it. It's brilliant. Oh, that's cool. God love Daleks. I mean, I was going to get these 3.75 inch figures, whether they were good or not, because I, I didn't really collect the 5 inch that much. I got, I've got quite a few, but I never really collected them, because there were just so many. But with these. I've got half of the thing, that of the wave, besides um, the rare variants, if you don't count them. Well, that's cool. And, well, to be honest, you, can, you can't really mess up a Dalek. There's got to be something wrong with you if you've got a Dalek figure wrong. Yeah, that looks good. 
across this from Asylum of the Daleks, yeah. And this is going to help with a uh, future project that I haven't talked to you about. So, yeah. Let's move on now to... Hmm, hell, let's go Doctor. Now, these Doctor figures, I've seen them on YouTube, and some people have gotten some eh, alright ones. Or maybe it's just the camera that just makes it look terrible, but I quite... I think I've got a good one. Enter Matt Smith. Oh, stupid plastic. Hmm, I might need my scissors after all. Hooray! We have got the 11th Doctor. Yeah, and the sonic screwdriver, which also looks cool. It's not as detailed as the old sonic screwdriver, but it will do. Yeah, I haven't got a bad one, really. I'm quite chuffed with this one, and it goes on this stand. Right, let's see how fiddly this stand is. Now, I quite like the idea of a stand, because when doing figure adventures, it can be quite a nightmare having the figures stand up, because they can be a bit annoying. And, well, if you just close up, I mean, there's no way it's going to fall. I mean, this on a bumpy bed, but... If you just have it on a flat surface, you can just have it like that with ease, and it's easy to turn, it's quite movable if you're doing stop motion figure adventures. But yeah, that's cool. Two good figures in a row. Now, probably the one that I wanted the most. Well, I kind of wanted them all, really. Besides the Weeping Angel, that looks pants. Hooray, we've got Clara. Let's get the red bag out. Oh, I'll figure that out in a minute. I can't be bothered to fiddle with that right now. Right, there's Clara. Woohoo, Clara. Now that we've got our time travellers and enemies to defeat, we need a way for them to time travel. There we go. Oh, no ripping, that's good. No ripping required. Ripping required. Alliteration. Hooray! Oh. oh! And some instructions for how to put the batteries in. Oh! Oh, whoa, that's really helpful. Thank you for putting sellotape around the thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. That'll stop thieves. I think the complicated packaging is enough to slow them down. Right, here we go. Do the doors open? I hope they do. Do you open the... God, these doors are... Oh yeah, you can. It's just hard to handle. Yeah, one. Oh, they just do that. Alright, that's cool. That's cool, they're kind of spring loaded. Ooh. And they've got the new interior. And it spins! Ooh. Right, I'll stop. Okay, so that was what I've been up to. Hope you enjoyed it. Now! We'll go back to past Drew, who has information on uh, Zel uh, my gaming channel. So, yeah. Oh, and please send me your things for Zelda Productions Live, your Skype names. And it should be around 6.30 when it begins, so begin. Look. come online around 6 o'clock. Yeah. Over to you, past Drew. Thanks, future Drew. Now, I don't know if many of you people know, but about two years ago, I made a gaming channel called Zelda Gamer, and I never put any videos on it. But finally, I have, and I've put a Chronotron video, which is a Flash game, and I'll be doing more of those videos. And I've got Doctor Who The Eternity Clock coming soon, so be sure to uh, click on the link in the description to the channel Zelda Gamer, or just type it in and subscribe because there'll be more videos. 
Zelda Gamer. Yeah.